Hello Zero here and welcome to Death Must Die, so let's go play and I'll actually start a run. There we go. Let's see, space is dash. Oh that's loud. Uh sound effects. Let's drop it there. Also UI down. Like this. Oh wow, the UI is now nothing. <laughs> what are the UI the sound effects? That's better. Sound is always a pain in the ass to deal with. Especially because the the main menu sounds were like uh, non existent. And we start with the basic uh, warrior. Oh, that's nice. There's now a mini map. What's this in there? Peace in mind. Hey, you're the one time gave their hourglass to, huh? Well, whatever it is you're doing here, I'm always the first to help mortals. So allow me to lend a hand. So it's like the uh, uh, AD system. But in a bullet heaven. Uh, let's see. Meteors fall upon the sky. Every few attack hits to breathe fire that damages and burns enemies in front of you. Your attacks become stronger and apply burning. That might be better. Uh, let's actually get this. The base damage goes up. Also, attacks are not auto initiated, at least your main attack isn't. So I do need to click to attack, or just hit hold the button. That archer. Oh, I'm Summer, by the way. The goddess of all the hot stuff. Fires, volcanoes, you know it. Ooh, master. Burning enemies leave a trail when they die. Meet this from uh, the meteor, breath of fire. Oh no, let's get Master Meat here. Oh, that is regeneration. Uh, oh, everything's burning. Oh, that might be neat if I get burning last for a while. You create a burning field. Helps with uh, finding uh, certain items on the on the ground. I don't remember that being in the demo, but I've forgotten about it. It's been a while, so on fire. In my next life, uh, that took out half of my health. Flare uh, whenever an attack start. Uh, enemy starts attacking you, there is a chance to shoot out a fireball against the attacker. Oh, that's dash. No, give me fire. Uh... I can't get close to that guy before uh, without him actually trying to murder me. It's not like I have infinite dashes. Also, this has an equipment system as well. Is it actually unlocks in the first round? I don't remember. Let's see. Trail of fire, breath of fire, incinerate enemies. Burning enemies will leave a fire when they die. Oh, I take this. Powerful sword of luck. Let's hope that's healing, because I'm hurting. 
Oh, that's a bunch of shooties. That's max health. Uh, that's something else. Look right thing. The book perks up as you get closer. It wants you to pick it up to read it. So maybe a bit later, and its pieces won't be torn off by the maim around you. So borrow a book at the altar, gain 10% faster cooldowns. I don't read books, gain 12% attack damage. Now let's get faster cooldowns. So that might actually trigger the uh, meteor faster. Oh yeah, the burning, just demolishing those armor dealers. That one more hit will actually kill me. What kind of legend would it be without some fire and mayhem? The spell damage is increased by seven percent. It's just a damage up. Yeah, that might be. Uh, let's just get the the last one. Then we get something better on the next upgrade. Oh, we're still dealing with slimes. Yep. Don't really deal with that. Continue. Not even five minutes. There we go. Stress unlocked. Our hourglass has brought you back. Step into the water once more, hero. We cannot follow you, but soon others will come to your aid. Death will stand trial for his transgressions. Stash. Emerald's demo cube. Of this. Oh, that's sorceress. So we have one for each of the characters. Power gift from the archive. Archive. For surviving the demo. Reroll dice, banish dice, alteration dice. Just keep it there. Oh yeah, we do have this. Powerful sword of luck. So we didn't have any. Also, this changed. Uh, it should give you way more damage. Also, more lock spell area. And this is where the equipment stuff comes in. You can get way more powerful with uh, higher tier equipment. Still wisdom. The tree opens its eyes. As you get closer, it starts to speak slowly, very slowly. Right, gain minus 540 pull area, gain 50% more experience. Can't get master or legendary boots. Boot offers all skill offers are expert. So that could be useful. Or gain and just get luck. Let's actually try humility. Let's get a guaranteed uh, elite. So all boons will be elite versions. Nothing higher, nothing lower. Unless of sanctuary. No hell will come to you. Or can come to you. I think it's a invulnerability for a certain amount of time. 
Make them feel the heat. Those of them that can, anyway. Wait, whenever the enemy starts oh, that's attacking, uh... Yeah, your attacks become stronger, or do I just want... Well, let's just get beaten, shall we? So that was like three attacks. That was two. And we get some equipment. Actually, can we equip it? Yeah, we can equip it midway. You will level up. Give you a bunch of armor. 50% damage reduction. Yeah, that should help. The meteor just nuked it. Yeah, these are a really low health cave. Nothing. Stronger, what's this? Compass. When you kill a number of burning enemies, an explosion damage and knockbacks enemies. Ooh! That should work. Oh, he hit me. Oh, it looks like you only get like one of those events in a certain area. But now I don't see those markers anymore. Oh, that was a black spike. So be it back. Can I look what oh that that's how you do it. Um this seems to be a way more powerful. Can the heal life on it? What attack damage? Best luck. Faster attacks, it just doesn't have luck or spell area. But it does have a chance of healing. Kind of be broken. Well, let's see. So if I open this, no, the other ones still are available. Kind of crumb. Battle Crow stands before you. In 20% attack area. No, we're getting spell area. In Mega Explosion. Look at that. Burning enemies leave a fire when they die. Oh, this might actually be better. More projectiles, more damage, and longer fire duration. Oh, I'll double shift it. Oh, I'll get this. Oh, burn it. Uh, I think I'm comforting it. Yeah. Hero, I task you with defeating death. For this, I reward you with my powers. Now obey! Fuck, oh, he's loud. I need to lower the volume on those. Uh, let's see. Rampaging Strike. Your attacks become stronger than knockback enemies. Charge. Your death damages and knocks back enemies. War pack. You deal more damage to enemy barriers. Ooh. That could be useful. Up area. Give me this. And also, let's go to audio and some of these are really loud. Yeah, for like the slime stuff, it's gonna be really useful. Oh, it's way too easy to double shift, uh, double uh, dash. What's this? Spell of power. Ooh, 
couple members for the while. That was the explosion. Boys. All the power. The sisters. Longer spell there you should. They better like them. how long this lasts. Probably not through the entire slime wave. Or with this game. Oh, it's gone. It's kind of what killed me, what killed me last time. Being unable to get away from these. Uh, let's see. Yeah, give me this. I think the explosion is what's keeping me alive. Just a chance to have my attacks explode. Also the knockback as well. Yeah, the knockback and the attack I don't think. Never works. cross me. Oh yeah, that's better. Blades. Rotating blades spawn away from you, rupturing and damaging enemies. As they are pulled back, back to you. Oh, that's an upgrade to damage and area. Oh, let's get, let's get blades. Yes, yeah, the option. Uh, the little things. Now I can move around again. One thing I notice is you don't really heal in this. Uh, not at all. Big bad death. You kill, I transfer knowledge on how to fight. What you won't learn. Gain armor. A minus evasion. Uh, oh, isn't that really bad? Let's get 20 armor. Yeah, it was a one hit will actually kill me. I felt slower the moment I took that. One day I will reach you, death. Uh, do I have? Oh, I have a bunch of stuff. Let's see. You on level up? This is a uh, magnet range. Oh, I can shift that in. No transfer is not a mouse button. So we should slowly unlock more of the gods that we that have powers from. But yeah, when we get more equipment, we're only gonna get stronger. And the store should unlock at one point. But oh, that's a damage up. No damage. Scans to the vigorous breastplate. What does that do? Plus one health. Um, plus, plus one life. Not health. That is life. That is. Your life points go. Oh, that's just the total amount of health. That's what they call it life in this game. That's not just health. 
You've been enlisting a lot of help from the others, haven't you? I bet he wouldn't expect his own tools against him, though. Mind if I join? Yeah, I'm Mort, Death's daughter. But I'd really like to see him defeated, nonetheless. Personal reasons. Let's see, Deadly Strike. The attacks become stronger and resolve burst statuses immediately. Lifelink. The death drains enemies, healing you if you are below a certain health threshold. That's 30%. Whenever you kill an enemy, there will be a chance that it spawns a weak experience choice. First enemies have a higher chance of dropping experience. So this would... Yeah, let's get... Give me a chance of just drop... Oh, that's the first time I've seen health. Oh yeah, we now have a chance of just uh, getting more experience. Oh, I'm guessing it's the blue ones. Chaos would love this. Oh, if only they could see it. Let's see. Uh, let's just get meteor, shall we? I shouldn't use the dash to uh, move around. In case I still needed to not take damage. I think the biggest issue with this character is it's only uh, short ranged. I still don't know what that does. Also get back in. I'm staggering it. Uh, that's a blue sword. More, it's pure damage. It's a good sword made by a gnoll. What is it? Mine's on a quip. Wait, unique. Oh, I want that. It has a bunch of damage. But it doesn't have healing. But how for that is healing? Like healing is only 1.3. Uh, let's actually just equip this. Now you can't unequip it or the uh, yeah, bound by uh, to Avalon. Because it's in unique. All stealers. When attacks hit have a chance to spawn phantoms. Any enemies they pass through become cursed and lose a percentage of their health. Yeah, I think I do something with uh, cursed enemies. Bomb rails attack enemies by in curses. Attacks become stronger and resolve cursed attacks. No. Phantoms might be uh, really useful. 32% chance. Let's get to Phantoms. But that should up the amount of experience we'll get. So it's speed, I'm guessing. Jumper. Oh, I did. my uh, dash is really fast. Fast, fast, I'm guessing. Yeah, this tank really can deal with the uh, fast attacks. Ah, a mortal with courage. Let's see if you're worth more than the dirt you shred on. What do we get? Blades? Rotate oh, that's the rotating blades. War pact is just... Do more damage to enemy barriers. Didn't like that. Let's get Rupture. Rupture, I think it's really nice. Any enemy I destroy because it's cursed. Will actually give me more experience. Pretty sure that is healing. Yep. You need to relate it. But there's a chest. Powerful sword. Here one. Yeah, it's way weaker. I'll probably want to sell that. Okay, don't give me some nothing. Let's see, Rampaging Strike, so it is a 8% damage area and knockback. Oh, Chains of War. 
Or could just get more blades. Twelve percent chance. So give me more, uh, another blade count. Oh yeah, the blades are just demolishing enemies. Nice, we can kill the uh, basic slimes in one hit, that would be nice. And I'm pretty sure I can't kill all of them in one hit. I hope it requires multiple hits. Oh, that's way too many. Uh, Lifelink, that's strange enemies healing you a certain amount. Wolf dealer, more phantoms. Maybe more damage. Yeah, make the attack uh, uh, do more damage actually helps a lot. Now oh, I can mostly just kill them with one hit. Now, isn't this curious? You are so intertwined with time itself that it's really hard to get a read on your fate, hero. It's the fates. Will you fail? Or succeed? Or maybe it'll be one of the others. Oh, sorry. They haven't arrived for you yet. But it would be a shame to see you fail. Perhaps we could... fudge the numbers a little? Let's see, evasion increase, deaths become longer, you like to see. Give me a break. So that's like the, the messenger in the uh, ladies. I don't remember what his name is. I haven't played Hades in a really long time. Oh, funny. All of those commoners. No, don't go to that. Richard, if he hits me in the face, I'm dead. We didn't introduce ourselves last time. Where are the fates? Lo, the sleeping one, spins the strings of life. Lachi measures them and all that boring stuff, while I, Isa, snip snip with the scissors when the time comes. I have the most fun job. It does get tiring to see them all go, though. Always, forever, and ever. But maybe you'll put an end to that, who knows? Killing everyone. Uh, people drops more often. Well, let's get the evasion even further. A 24% chance to just evade an attack. Oh, I did not dodge that attack. That did. Like, I'm on one health. The range is actually bigger than you might think. Help! Really? Kill me on top of the health item. <laughs> I was like about to just shift through it and the arrow just hit me in the face. 
There we go. Rain Seabird. I didn't expect a living guardian at Death's Gate. And no guardian. Just went out for some fresh air. I was told to expect others. I suspect you are the first to come. First to come? What are you talking about? Might take me a while to explain everything. So, you want me to go down there with the hourglass? Only uh, one can wield it. Good luck. This would be a bit easier to deal with. Yeah, we don't have any of the uh, equipment for it. Oh yeah, let's end the episode here, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.